Hi, sweet friends. Today I am here at the SBSCA, a thrift store in Freeport, Texas. I'm gonna head in and see what kind of treasures I can find. A printed picture for $5. But what I wasn't expecting when I picked it up is that the frame is actually plastic. So that was interesting. Another beautiful picture. This one's $5 and this one is actually like acrylic. Is that what you could call that? Another beautiful picture. This one's $5. Here is precious. He is from 1988 and he is a $5, so I won't get him, but oh my goodness, he's everything. He looks so mischievous. This little angel here definitely has a vintage vibe to her. I believe she is a Christmas tree, a topper. There is her bottom. She's really cute. Like these little Texas cowgirl ornaments it would have matched my home back in the day back when my kids were little we had lots of a western motif going on in our home These little bisque girls are very cute i collect angels they don't really fit with my collections but they are precious cute little homeco set mary and baby jesus Joseph is missing there, 50 cents each. It's a vintage singer sewing book. Looks like it may be from 1960. That is really a cool little book. I don't need it. I didn't have a singer, I had a Viking. And so, I did think it was pretty cool just to flip through for a minute, enjoy the pictures a collection of harry potter books i never really got into harry potter but i know a lot of people that that do love the harry potter series Fun little thing if you're into guns rifle horn holders they have a little spears on the end it's kind of cool 1990s a blue boat is brings back a lot of memories. My best friend's sister had this thing in her kitchen. Huge collection of these metal tins. It appears a lot of them are $3. They're not in the best of shape though. It's unfortunate. They got a lot of rust on them. This Temperware by Linux collection. It's really pretty. Heavy duty, nice set of dishes by Otigari. Large selection of two cups and saucers. All of them are five dollars. So beautiful pieces that I got there in the thrift store. I always find some amazing deals and today is no exception. I do want to share a couple of items before I get to the SPCA thrift store items. I um, was checking out and I ran into a friend to the channel. I have um, ran into her actually twice. So hi, hi Valerie. Um, she told me about a rummage sale and so I stopped by the rummage sale and I got... I just got one thing. They closed early that day and I didn't make it. So I went the next morning and uh, I didn't find, I, I just found this one thing, but it is a really pretty 1968 poinsettia. It's like the hard plastic and I think it is absolutely beautiful. So I got this. And uh, the same day that I went to the SPCA, I went to the community thrift. And I found this awesome piece. I believe it was $5. It is, uh, I believe, a Viking uranium glass. It should glow, definitely glow under a black light. And it was $5. 
think that is absolutely gorgeous. So I picked that up. It is like the satin glass, custard glass maybe. Um, so I got that. And then I just got some, some books. I haven't read a book in a long time. And I noticed that they had some books by Diane Palmer. I've always enjoyed reading her little novels. You know, you can read this in a couple of hours. It's just a kind of a little escape. And so I got three of them. I don't know if I'll sit down long enough to read them or not, but their books are so cheap um, or so inexpensive. I just went ahead and I got a couple of books. Now on to the few things that I got at the SPCA. Got some really great items. I spent right at $23.00. And some of this is Christmas items. I found these pink Victoria's Secret bath bombs and they had them for a buck. So I got three of them. This one is a coconut. And this one is Daisy. And this one is coconut as well. So I did get those. What else did I get? I got this. I'm not sure this could have been a dollar or less than a dollar, but it is just this pretty blue necklace with the little um, Serape print. So I got that for my oldest daughter. We include that in her, in her Christmas bag. And for her also, I picked up this Ray Dunn. This is scented dish soap dish soap it was two dollars and it is in the scent eucalyptus mint so i'll probably go ahead and give this to her and it does smell really good i smell it again yes it does smell good so got her that i got some on the end of my nose all right i think the rest of everything is for me so i'll show you a few christmas items I found this a sweet little set. Um, there was no Mary or yeah, I think that's Joseph. Anyway, I think it's cute. I got one ahead and got it. They were 50 cents each and they are home co. So I'll add those to my Christmas stuff. And then I found these two little goofy goose. <laughs> they're vintage as well, and uh, they're just a wind-up type thing. They just ride their bicycle, and they were 50 cents each. So these are really cute. I thought they would be fun to have for Christmas. I've got this guy from my porch, a little armadillo. He was $2. He's actually a bank, and his his plug is in there but i i'm not gonna dig it out uh it is made in texas and it appears like it may have a little bit of age to it so anyway for the porch two bucks all right so i love raggedy ann i've talked about raggedy ann before on my channel my little girl not my baby nursery but like when you get out of the baby nursery and then you're still like very little that room was decorated in Raggedy Ann. And um, so I do love Raggedy Ann. And I found some. I have a small collection of them. And I have three more to add to them. So here is Andy. These are um, Knickerbocker. And um, I went ahead and got them. So probably give this one a wash. I think he can safely be thrown in the wash and get freshened up this one i believe can get thrown in the wash and be freshened up as well she is also knickerbocker um but she's the wind up one so Go to sleep. Yeah, go to sleep, go to sleep. I think that's what she's playing. So anyway, she she was well loved. And so I want to get her freshened up and get her little clothes ironed and, um, 
and that. So there's that one. And then they had this one. And I don't know how much these were. They were a dollar or two dollars. Um, of course, he can't be washed because he's got strings. But you can, um, you know, move him around and stuff. So I went ahead and got him as well. He's got a little bit of damage on his foot. And he's got a tag. He's by Knickerbocker as well. So there he is. So I got those. That was a, a big one, a big a Raggedy Ann, but she was really damaged. I think she was even missing an eye and my kids are already a little bit traumatized by these dolls. They don't really like them. And I didn't want to bring in one that's missing the eye. That's really liable to freak them out. So I didn't do that. Oh, here's another fun Christmas item that I got. A little bag full of Santa heads. Oh, I don't even know what I'm going to do with these. But let me, I opened up one of them just to check it out. It looks like they were picks to go in something or another, but how cute is that? It can go right into the Christmas tree. It could go into a floral arrangement. These could go into a little bowl. I don't know, but I wasn't going to pass them up for a buck. And the packaging, the packaging appears like they're a little vintage. But I'm not, I'm not sure. That does look a little vintage to me, but I don't know. So I found a few clothing items. Their clothes are like a dollar each or so. I found this Van Halen shirt. This one is a tour of the world, 1984. And I thought this would be fun with a pair of leggings. It's a 2X, so it'll fit loose. And it is by this um, T, T for the soul. So I picked that up. Here's a little uh, winter, easy to put on. No must, no fuss, little, little shirt. Kind of a little thicker, almost like a little sweatshirt, but not quite. So I think this will be cute. Got that. And then I found these shorts. These are by the brand Rewash. I believe that is a Macy brand. And of course, they're a dollar also. So these are just fun, easy, comfortable little shorts. So I got those. And then the last two items I got, I picked up one of these. I pick these up when I see them. You can't go wrong. They're good for traveling. They're good for your purse, anything. This one is new. Never been used. Probably a buck or so. And there's that. So I got that. And then last but not least, I found this bag. I don't know how much it was. A couple of dollars or so. And it is, it's a bucket bag and backpack. Seems to be in really good condition. And it is, it says Tannery West Genuine Leather Made in India. So I got that. I thought this would be a good, a good little bag to have. It did have like strings and stuff, but I just... I cleaned all that up and looks good as new. Or, well, I guess not good as new, but um, it looks good to me. So, picked that up. But that's it, guys. That is my haul. Um, I said I spent like 20, 20, it was 22 something something. So, right at 23 bucks. And I got some really good deals. And then I spent like six or seven at the community thrift and then one dollar at the church a rummage sale so i'm happy with everything i got i hope you enjoyed this video if you have please give it a thumbs up hit that subscribe button down below become part of my friends here on youtube and i will see each of you in my next video bye guys